So, you've watched uh, some of the training videos and now you're ready to download the Bet Tracker. Now, the Bet Tracker is stored on Dropbox, and basically, all you need to do is click on the link. And depending how your machine is set up, it will generally automatically open. So, you can see in the bottom corner there, it's downloaded it, automatically open your Excel. If not, I'll show you where to find the file. So I'll go ahead and open Excel now. And the first time you open it, you might get the security warning. And it's basically because it's a macro enabled worksheet and it's got VBA code behind it and macro. So you just need to enable the content and it will default to open on the home page. Now, what I would do now is I would save that file save as and on my machine my any downloads are set to a folder called downloads um, yours might be different depending where you've got your download files stored what I would do is I would create a new folder I would put it on your desktop and I would create a new folder and I would call it cleave tracker so this is where we can find it later double click the folder and give it a name sorry keep the name as it is so cleave back tracker master beta one so we're going to save that in that folder what we're going to do now is we're going to save another copy of it so now see it's defaulted to desktop cleave back tracker so knows where to save it and we're going to call this one my version we're going to save that so now we've got two copies of the uh, bet tracker spreadsheet and if we look in the uh, folder so if i go back to my desktop now and i've got cleave bet tracker i've got two versions this one is your master version, so you've always got a fallback position and you can work on this one. If you break it, you can always reopen the master version, but always resave it as a different name to this. So you've always got this one to fall back on. Now, if you if it didn't automatically open uh, Excel when you um, downloaded it, as I said, my downloads are in um, downloads, funnily enough. Yeah. And you'll see I've done this various times. And it's in there if you want to now um, move that and create your new folder right click cut and then once you create a new folder you can right click and paste it into there or you can just move it so that's how to install it and make sure you've always got a master copy as a backup